Funding for Barney and Friends is made possible in part by... Chuck E. Cheese's. Where a kid can be a kid. <laughs> With additional funding from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you. Flappity-flap, may we come in so we'll be dry? 
But the blue flower answered, Twiddly dum, twiddly dee, I'll help the one who looks like me. <gasps> well, the blue butterfly didn't want to leave his friends out in the rain, so they all flew to the orange flower and said, Flippity flap, flappity fly, may we come in so we'll be dry? But the orange flower said, <gasps> Tweedledy dum, tweedledy dee, I'll help the one who looks like me. I won't leave my friends in the rain, said the orange butterfly. So she and the others flew to the purple flower and called. Flippity flap, flappity fly, may we come in so we'll be dry. But the purple flower answered. Twiddly dum, twiddly dee. I'll help the one who looks like me. Well, the purple butterfly didn't want to leave her friends either. So they all flew away. Sadly, they were getting very wet. Meanwhile, the sun peeked from behind the storm clouds and was glad to see how much the three butterflies loved each other. So the sun made all the rain clouds go away and smiled warmly on the butterflies. They dried out and played happily in the sunshine again while shouting, Flippity flap, flappity flip, let's all play tag and now you're <laughs> and the three friends played happily ever after. The end. Oh, that was a good story, Stella. It's nice when friends stick together. Oh, thank you. But I must be going. I have more stories to tell, and I mustn't be late. So, as they say in Japan, sayonara. Don't you wish we could fly like the butterflies and tell a story? Or a bird? Or a helicopter? Or, or a paper airplane? <laughs> like that one? Hey, where did this come from? Tasha must be playing up in the treehouse. Hi, everyone. Hi, Hi Tasha. Tasha. Well, if Tasha didn't sail the airplane, then who did? What's going on? Someone just flew a paper airplane down from the treehouse. Wouldn't it be fun to fly through the air like this? Yeah. Hey, there's some writing on this plane. What does it say? It looks like a rhyme. A rhyme? Paper airplanes in the sky. Go upstairs, pretend to fly. Upstairs? Think it means upstairs in our school? I don't think so. It came from up there. I'll go take a look. Okay. <laughs> hmm, I wonder who wrote that rhyme. And why did they write it on the paper airplane? Did you find anything up there, man? Yeah, come up and see. <laughs> Imagination Airport announces flight number one leaving from gate five. Have your tickets ready, please. Here we are, gate five. Good afternoon, and welcome to Treehouse Airlines. May I see your tickets? Oh, I see you're all fine to make Blue City, and you're at the right gate. Just step into the plane, and we'll be leaving very soon. Okay. Welcome to Treehouse Airlines, flight to Make Blue City. May I help you find your seat? Yes, please. My ticket says 1A. Follow me, ma'am. Here's your seat, ma'am. Row one, seat A. Here's my seat. Row two, seat B. I'm in one B. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Captain Barney, your pilot for today's flight. Before we take off, please put your bags under your seats and buckle your seatbelts. Flight attendants, prepare the cabin for takeoff, please. Everybody buckled up. Okay. Great. Now, if our flight attendants will have a seat and buckle up, we'll be ready to go. <laughs> okay then. Here we go.
<laughs> Looking out the window, I can see the wings. Down below, I see other things. Like little tiny buildings and cars so small. It makes me feel like I'm really tall. Wasn't it fun flying? Oh, it was fun. 
funny. My kite has a tail on it. Mine too. Uh-huh. That helps them fly better. It's easy to tell which kite is yours, Barney. Oh, how's that, Carlos? Because it has spots, like yours. Oh, oh it does. <laughs> My kite looks like a butterfly flying through the air. Like that one? Just like that one. Look, it's beautiful. Goodbye, little butterfly. Come back soon. Bye-bye. Hey, look. What's that? It looks like another note. I'll go get it. Here it is. What's it say? It's another rhyme. Listen. Butterfly wings go flap, flap, flap. Make your hands go clap, clap, clap. Well, let's give it a try. <laughs> this is a song and a clapping game. It's so much fun to play. You can do it with a group. You can do it by yourself. You can do it most every day. Just listen now. Have you got it? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> All together now. <laughs> Now it's going to be your turn to try the clapping part. You can do it real loud or do it real soft, but get ready because we're going to start. Here we go now. Once more now. Oh, good job, everybody. Now let's try something different. The good thing about this clapping is that the rhythm will never, never change. But the things we're going to clap on may seem a little strange. On your stomach now. On your shoulders. <laughs> oh, isn't that silly? Let's try that again. The good thing about this clapping is that the rhythm will never, never change. But the things we're going to clap on may seem a little strange. On your knees now! <laughs> on your hips now! <laughs> That's my favorite. <laughs> One more time! Here is the end of the clapping song. It's sung in many lands. Just to make us feel good on the very last time. Everybody clap with your hands. Here we go! Last time now! Yeah! <laughs> oh, 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 way to go, everybody! <laughs> you know, these rhymes are giving us fun things to do. You're right, but I wonder who's writing them. Maybe the answer is floating down to us right now. Oh. <gasps> oh. Hey, look at that! It's a tiny parachute! Oh, it oh. is! <laughs> Another note. Oh, what does it say? Yeah. Another rhyme. Oh. Parachutes float round and round, landing softly on the ground. Quickly now, please say four times something silly like little riddle rhymes. <laughs> little riddle rhymes. Little riddle rhymes. Little riddle rhymes. Little riddle rhymes. Oh. Little <laughs> Try this one. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. Good. <laughs> How about this one? Big Barney bounced a brown ball. <laughs> Big Barney bounced a brown ball. Oh. <laughs> I wonder who wrote this. Hmm, silly little rhymes from somewhere. Hmm. Don't move, Sean. There's a spider. Whoa, what? a spider. What? Don't worry. It's just a toy. <laughs> with another note tied to it. Oh, maybe it will tell us who wrote the rhymes. If you wonder who's the writer, ask the itsy bitsy spider. He might tell before too long if you sing his favorite song. Oh, that'll be fun. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun. Dried up all the rain, and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. <laughs> the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. 
Betsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Mr. Spider, we sang your favorite song. Now will you tell us who's writing the mystery rhymes? Hmm, he's not telling. Maybe if we tiptoe up to the treehouse, we'll catch whoever it is. Oh, that's a terrific idea. <laughs> All right, everyone, let's be really quiet. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Number one, two, three, you are cleared for takeoff on runway four. Here you go. <laughs> Hi, everybody. What are you doing, DJ? I'm pretending to be way up in an airport control tower. Oh. Are you the one who's been writing notes to us all day? Oh, I sure have. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Your rhymes were fun. Did they keep you guessing? Well, they sure did. We didn't know who wrote them. Why did you put them on things that fly? Because I wish I could fly up high like birds and kites and paper airplanes. And real airplanes? What do you mean, Barney? <laughs> well, since you've helped us have so much fun today, I have a fun surprise for you. A surprise? Huh? What is it? Well, come on down to the playground and I'll show you. You and Barney look like old-fashioned airplane pilots, BJ. <laughs> does this mean we're gonna fly in a plane, Barney? Oh, it sure does. Follow me and prepare for takeoff. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> okay, BJ, fasten your seatbelt because here we go. Thank you. 
takes one me to you Won't you say you love me too? Hey, where did PJ go? I don't know where he went. <laughs> this looks like another note. I always wished that I could fly, and Barney took me to the sky. I went away to skip and hop and tell my sister, Baby Bob. See you soon, BJ. Oh, that's, that's great. I better be going, too. I'm helping my mom cook dinner tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah, we have bye, 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 Everybody, it's time for Barney Says. <laughs> Hello again to all my friends. I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never ends. Here's what we did today. Kites come in so many different shapes and colors, don't they? <laughs> Ooh, have you ever flown a kite with friends on a windy day? Ooh. It's fun to fly paper airplanes, too. BJ sent us a note on a paper airplane today. Now that's what I call airmail. <laughs> Wasn't BJ surprised when I took him up for a ride in my plane? Ooh, you can have just as much fun pretending to take a trip on an airplane. You can be a passenger and match the number on your ticket to your seat number. Or you can be the flight attendant, serving snacks to the passengers while they look out the window. Or you can be the pilot and fly your imaginary plane anywhere you like. <laughs> the next time you see a butterfly, remember Stella's story about the three butterflies that loved each other. And remember, I love you. Funding for Barney and Friends is made possible in part by... Chuck E. Cheese's, where a kid can be a kid. Yeah! With additional funding from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you.